welcome back to my channel beautiful people today on mixing it up with Gigi I am gonna be making a breakfast apple berry crumble I know the kids are at home doing distance learning and you know I'm pretty sure they're tired of eating cereal so this is a very healthy choice that you can try for the kids and they will love it because it's you can make it as sweet as you want or as tangy as you want okay so the ingredients we're going to use today are um two cups of mixed nuts and i have pecans walnuts and almonds two cups of rolled oats two tablespoonful of maple syrup two tablespoonful of coconut oil one tablespoonful of cinnamon and sea salt to taste or salt of your choice then we're gonna need uh, for the second part um, we're gonna need um, two cups of frozen berries four apples sliced and already done that half cup of apple cider one to three tablespoonful of maple syrup two tablespoonful of chia seed and um, one tablespoonful of flour and that is optional all right so let's get started I have in my I focus the camera I have in my food processor some almonds I'm just gonna pulse that and rough chop that I don't you don't want it to be smooth and you just want it to be nice and chunky but almonds are a little bit harder than the rest of the nuts so I'm just gonna rough chop this on low Wow this is the first time I'm using this thing right here it's out of control let's pulse it Okay, now that I have all my nuts um, chopped, I'm going to go ahead and add the oats. Then I'm going to add um, my coconut oil, my melted coconut oil. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and you can use salt of your choice. Using a pink Himalayan salt, just a pinch. Then I'm just going to mix all of this together. And I'm just going to set that aside. You can also toast this, put this in the oven and toast it prior to putting it on the berries. But I'm not going to toast mine, I just want it like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna add my maple syrup. And you can use brown sugar if you want, but you can use maple, also use maple syrup or honey. And again, you gauge this by the way how you want it. If you want it not so sweet, don't put too much in it. If you want it really sweet, go ahead and knock yourselves out. It also calls for uh, the flour, but I'm not going to use the flour. I'm going to use um, chia seed as my thickening agent, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of it in here, and then put a little bit in the in the apple crunch. And, and chia seed is very rich in nutrients. It will do the same thing as the flour. It is a thickening agent, so no need to put flour in there. If you like that, go right ahead. Then I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm going over to the stove with my pot so I can start the process. Put the stove on and I can start the process. Okay, so into this pot, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, mixed berries. And there are a few pieces of peaches that's on top right there that were in a bag that I have. No big deal, add it in there. This is where I'm going to use a little apple cider, rinse my bowl out. I'll just keep that to pour and back in there okay and um, I'm gonna give that a good stir yeah so just stir that up and let it come to a boil and then I'm gonna add the apples and these apples are so good guys they're um, honey crisp they're really delicious okay I'm going in with the apples the pot with the berries I'm gonna give that a good stir Just 
to incorporate all the nice juices in here and then I'm going to cover this on low heat and let it soften let the apples get soft okay guys there go the apples they are doing well they still need some more time but they are meshing are getting along real well with the berries in the pot this is where I'm going to be adding some chia seed and I'm doing a tablespoonful of chia ground chia seed in lieu of flour and I'm going to be and this is going to be the thickening agent for my apples they're looking so good now I'm going to go in with some cinnamon and maple syrup a tablespoonful of cinnamon tablespoonful of maple syrup and if you put um, maple syrup in the, the crumbles make sure you go easy on it in here because you really don't want this to be too sweet mmm yeah they're softening they're looking good looking really good make sure you taste it to see if it's tasty okay guys now I'm going to pour this in a baking pan. There it is. I didn't let my apples get too overdone because remember they're going to be baked as well. So now I'm going to transfer this goodness in a baking pan. And this is a lot. I'm going to bring some to my Gigi babies. Evenly distribute it out in the pan. Mmm, that tastes so good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add. And guys, I did forget to add the, the um, cinnamon to this mix, so I went ahead and do that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk all of this goodness on it. Don't make it be too thick because then won't be crunchy all the way through and you just want to really put this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and it will be ready okay I'm gonna be baking that 10 to 15 minutes on 350 okay everyone um it's all finished um my breakfast apple berry crumble all finished and the good part about this is it can be used as a snack it can be used as breakfast you you, you eat it whenever and however you want to you can add some yogurt of your choice then you can add some more fresh fruits on top but i'm gonna dig in and show you guys what it looks like Coming up with just let me get in the middle so I can get some berries and all of that. So there it is. There it is, guys. You have a little bit of everything going on in there. This is such a healthy breakfast. Just tip a little bit of yogurt on top of that or some fresh fruits, and the kids are going to love this. Alright, guys, until next time, God bless.